Hi you guys, I'm here today to share with you another design team project for Craft Supplies 1 and I decided to do another pin cushion. Um, I really like to make pin cushions. I just think they're fun and there's so many different things you can make them out of and just different things to use and so I decided to use this teacup and saucer and I actually have had this for a little while. I originally bought it, um, I came in a package and there was two cups and two saucers and I've already altered the other one and I do have a video for that. Um, but in my DT package I got a bunch of gorgeous flowers um, so I really wanted to make a project showcasing a bunch of the flowers that I had received and so um, I decided to do this pin cushion. So um, basically what I did was first I glued the cup to the saucer and then um, if you can see this doily right here I actually cut that into fourths um, because I wanted it kind of just to show right here but it was smaller so um, I cut it into fours and just put one two three four so it looks actually like it's a really big one but it's not because um, over here it would have been covered up anyways so um, that's what I did with that and I added this trim right here that's from Craft Supplies one as well, but um, it's kind of mostly all covered up as you can see. There's just a little uh, piece poking through, but it does go all the way around. And then I just added a ton of these gorgeous flowers that Julie sent me in my DT package. And I just think they're all so, 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 so pretty. So this is kind of what I did all the way around. And I love the way that it looks. It kind of has like a very um, vintage feel to it. So, um, the blings right here already came on the cup, and I just think they're cute. I love bling. Um, and then here at the top, as you can see, there's a doily, and Julie has a bunch of different doilies in the shop. So this is one of the ones I received in my package. Um, I made, if you can see how it's kind of shimmery, um, for my stuffing, I covered it with that shiny white material that I just got from Hobby Lobby. And then um, I glued that in, and this doily was like the perfect size because I didn't want it to be stuffed down in there. I just kind of wanted it to cover the top. So um, I just, if you can see, I got it to fit. So it was a little bit snug. So um, in order to get it to fit, what I did was like I took a little piece, glued it down, and then I went to the opposite side, which would be back here, glued that down, and then went from here and then glued over here and then the little pieces in between I glued down so it stretched to fit perfectly and it came out really cute and there are just so many flowers um, that I got and they're so 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 pretty and um, I just wanted something where I could just put a bunch of them on there because it's just they're gorgeous and I love them so um, I thought this would be like one of the perfect ways to do it if you can see these flowers are all so gorgeous and then um, here at the top I just made some um, stick pens from different beads from my stash and so they just look like this hopefully it's not too blurry my lighting is really weird right now so I apologize for that There's this one. So, um, this is my project. Let me know what you guys think and what you think of these gorgeous flowers that I'm in love with. So I'll show you guys around again. This was a really fun project and a great way to showcase all the gorgeous flowers because really the way I did it, you can um, set this any way that you want like you can set it like this you can set it like this or you can even put the back at the front um, or the side at the front so any which way you look at it it's um, you know there's a bunch of gorgeous flowers to look at so um, that's my pincushion let me know what you guys think make sure you check out craft supplies one thanks for watching bye